And we're all here, lovely. Uh, yeah, everybody's here, excellent. And uh, let me start as I usually do. Are there any questions? What page are we on, please? Because I had to miss last week. Okay, last so time. we're going to start on page 53 with unit eight. Okay. 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 So at the top of the page, there's an asterisk in a box. And it says that the Vav, which is what that letter is, is a special letter. That's what the box says. I find that very intriguing, but that's beside the point. Anyway, um, and the Vav like that is, um, hang on a minute. I'm getting organized, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so you will often see V at the beginning of a word, and it means and. So as I've said before, Hebrew is efficient and uses uh, prefixes and suffixes frequently. So Hebrew in one word says what might take us in English two or three words to say. So V means and. Doesn't so, it, Carol, doesn't it usually have the shva underneath it when it means and? Absolutely, yes. Thank you, Gail, for pointing that out. That's absolutely correct. And on the top of the page, we have examples. So why don't we start reading from the top of page uh, 53, uh, where, it says, where it says number one, um, Ruth. Vai. Okay, so let's remember that when we have the two dots, the schwa, it's v. V. Yeah. Vai. Kadash. Kadash. Right, so it's Vayit Kadash. Kadash. Right. Vayim. Mm -mm. The long straight line is a. Uh. Vaya. Vayam. Yes, very nice. Vish Tabat Tabat Tabat. Okay. That that last letter is the ch. Tabach. Yes. The yish tabach. Bach. The yish tabach. The ye. <coughs> Excuse me. Pa'ar. V'yi yeah. pa'ar? Mm-hmm. Oh. V'yit roma. Romat. Mm-mm. That last letter is... Romam. Right. Mom. Romam. Romam. Yeah. You got it. Um, Ellen, line two, please. Viet na se viet ha hada viet almost wait wait viet hadar viet hadar yeah viet ale viet ale viet ale yeah viet ale hello Beat ha lal. Yes, very nice. Um, line three, Nancy, please. The she rata. Mm hmm. The ne emma. No, the ne emma. It's not right. The ne ha. He. He. Mata. Yes, very nice. The Imru. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Gail K. Bechaim Be Al Be Imru Be Al Be Imru. 
Yes, very good. Okay. Now at the bottom of the page in the box is um, the Kaddish. Mm -hmm. And we say the Kaddish a lot in services. There's the Hatsi Kaddish and there's then the Kaddish Shalem. This one's the Kaddish Shalem. The Hatsi Kaddish ends uh, sort of after that first big paragraph. I'll point it out when we get there. But we say it a lot. Okay, Kaddish, the word Kaddish comes from the word meaning holy. So this is sort of a prayer of holiness, so to speak. Okay, uh, so one, two, three, four. So Gail, in that big box in the bottom, how about reading that first line, please? Gail B, right? Uh, Gail B, yes, that's correct. <laughs> yeah, yes, you're right. Thank you. <laughs> Yeet, Gadal. Kadash, yep. Deme, Rava. Bial, Bial Ma, E, Vira. Oh, Vira. Vira. So we have Bial Ma, D, Ra. Vira. Okay. Uh, next line, please, um, Irina. Okay. Hi. He, um, Hirote, mm -hmm. um, Viam Lich Mal mm -hmm. Malhute, mm -hmm. Veha Ye Hon, Ve, uh, Uva Uva Yo May Hon. Yes, very nice. Uva Uve 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 Oh, wait, 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 wait. The first word. That's our big, 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 big exception. Oh, the call. The call. Yeah. The call. <clears throat> um, okay. Bait. Yes. Israel. Mm hmm. Ba, ba, ya, gala. Almost the second letter is silent. It's not got it. It's not a Y. Ba, ba, uh, gala. Right. Uhi. Uh, uh, that's a V. Vhi. Oh, 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 no, no. O V. Oh, oh, oh. O V. Oh. Gala. Okay. U V's man. U V's man. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um. Kareem. Kareem. Yeah. Kareem. Yeah. The the Amru, Amen. The Imru, Amen. Yes. Okay. Thank you, <coughs> Ellen. The next line, please. Yeah. Hey. Shem. Um. Shem. Shemel. Shemate. Okay. Whoops. Hold on. All right. So that last letter. With, which looks funny because of the dot. Oh, right, yeah. And you can ignore the dot. Remember, so it, dots and letters we te typically ignore. So it's just Shemay? Yes, exactly. Okay. 
Rabah. Mm-hmm. Mevarah. Mevarah. Yep. Yeah, excellent. Yep. La'alam. La'alam. Sorry. Ula. Ula. Ula may. Okay. Ul al may. Ul al may. I think it's the same thing. Yeah. Um, al al my al maya. Yes. Good. Thank you, Nancy. Next line, please. Okay. So Rayit. Uh uh. Where the line. We're oh, in the big okay. box. Yeah. The hay. The Is that Wait it? No, no. Um, Ellen so, read the line that says, yeah, beginning, yeah, hey, you're on the next line. The fifth line down. Yeah. Three, four, five. Okay. Got it. Okay. Hmm. I think it's yit bara. Yes, you think right. Okay, good. Vayit, no, Vayish Taba. Okay, yes. together. Vayish Taba. Yeah. Vayit Paar. Vayit Rama Romam. Yeah. Vayit Nase. Vayit Hadar. Yes, very nice. Um, Gail K. The yeet ale the yeet palau. She may de kucha the rich who. Yes, le ala. Yep, and um. Finally, read this. Yeah, Gail B. The next line, please. Ooh, ooh, al, ooh, ala, a, a la, yeah, a la, ooh, a la, main, 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 cow, uh, uh, cow, yep, beer. Birkata. Mm hmm. Ushirata. The, 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 the. Vishirata. Tush. Bahata. Bahata. Tush. Bahata. Yep. Une. The. Oh. Vene. Ha. Mata. Almost. Vene. Ha mata. Vinecha mata. Vinecha mata. Okay. I just want to point out at the beginning of that line, there was a word in parentheses. Okay. So the, the cottage is recited at a lot of different points in the services. The word in parentheses is only recited on the 10 days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. So that's, it's in parentheses so that if you're in a prayer book and it's one of those days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, you're reminded to say it. And every other time of the year, you can ignore it. So kind of that's why it's in parentheses, but I wanted to point that out. Thank okay. You. You're welcome. Okay, next line, um, Irina, please. Da a me don uh, run run yeah thank you um be a loma loma almost be al ma very good mm -hmm. um ve e ma ru mm -hmm. Uh, amen. <laughs> yes, 
Very this nice. Thank you. Easiest one. <laughs> <laughs> so up up until this point, that would be what's called the Hatsi Kaddish, the half Kaddish, if you will. Mm -hmm. Now the the full Kaddish includes not only the next four lines, but there are two lines that um, they didn't put in this uh, text. I don't know why not, but they didn't. So maybe because it wouldn't have fit. What, what do I know? Um, so, uh, excuse me, Ruth, <coughs> please. Yehe, Shlama, Rabah, Min, Shemai, Shema, Vech, Vechai. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a before you get, go forward. It's Shema, Ya. Shema, Ya. Ya. Vechayim, Ali, Aleinu. Mm hmm Baal, Baal. No. Cow. Coal. Okay. Oh, coal. It, if you want to read along, yep, it's which a is special fine, one. Please, yep. Please mute yourself. Okay. I'll complete the next three words. Okay. Please, Ruth, on the next line. Um. Yes, Israel. The, the Imru Amen. Mm -hmm. Right, very nice. Um, Ellen, uh, complete the page, please. Okay, I have to get my book because the last line is kind of blurry, but okay. Um, Osta Shalom, Bim, Bim Romam, Bim Romam. Nope. Be more rav. <laughs> yes, be more Yeah. Right. If it was a man, it would be longer, right? Yeah. Be Absolutely. Wrong. Okay. <clears throat> Who? Yeah. Uh, Se. Shalom. Yal. Uh uh. Oh, Alenu. Yeah. Val, the al, the al, call Israel, Vimru, Amen. Yeah. Okay. Just remember the next to the last word is the imru. The imru. Right. When you, you know, you don't want to make it vim because then you lose the aleph. It's got to be the imru. Okay. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Anybody have any questions? Yes, Nancy. Okay, so lifelong. People are have recited this in the prayers and I have always struggled because I was never an auditory learner. Just thank you. Because oh, this yes. has finally, it's, it's come together. Oh, good, good. Um, what's oh, very, yeah. very interesting is that um, the, there are different Kaddishes. So, right, for, so for example, I mentioned there was the Hatsi Kaddish, which stopped at the end of uh, the fifth line up from the bottom. And then the last four lines plus two additional lines would be Kaddish Shalem, the full Kaddish. And this is also the basis for the mourner's Kaddish, Kaddish Yatom, the mourner's Kaddish. And um, what irritates me most, more than anything else, is there are people um, who get on, who are in mourning or are observing a yard site and they do the mourner's Kaddish and they do it so fast that they complete, can complete it in, you know, a nanosecond practically. Right. Now, woe to them if I'm in the room. <laughs> because even if I am not saying Kaddish, I will to slow them down. Now, if they're the only person saying Kaddish, I could care less. 
how fast or how slow they go. Because to me, it's sort of irrelevant. But if there's, a, if there's at least a second person, I wanna make sure that that person who may not be familiar the way the person, the first person is, I wanna make sure that that person is able to have the full experience, so to speak. So um, that's just, you know, that's a detour. But anyway, that's how I approach I, this. I actually greatly appreciate your detour because it's been my personal experience and it's very hard to follow, but you really want to have a meaning. And also to follow on that, I actually, to follow Ellen's, I'm very happy that I'm able to say, read actually Kaddish without saying in Hebrew from my mom yard side, which is tomorrow. So I uh, very, very timely. So I'm, I'm very grateful for that. Oh, well, I'm, Thank yes, you. now, okay, wait one sec. Um, where did I put the, I had a C door here. Why is it that when I pull something out to look at, it decides to take a, a journey? Oh, well, <laughs> I wanna, oh, I know, I put it behind me, okay. All of these things have left. Yes, it was. Okay, so, so there is a, let's see. Um, yet for, so, okay, so this, what, it, what we just read here, is exactly the um, what would be said at as the mourner's Kaddish. Okay, the other two lines I was talking about would be in the complete Kaddish, Kaddish Shalem, but this is printed right here. This is the Kaddish that a mourner or a person observe, observing a yard site would recite. So you're all ready for tomorrow, Arena. Yeah. My mother will be very proud. <laughs> okay. <laughs> May her memory always be for a blessing. Thank you. She's looking down at you and she's quelling. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. It was, it was really meaningful. You know what? I mean, it's true that, and, and I, I like what you do with that because like the rest of us, none of us can read Hebrew that fast. You yeah. know, and, and by the time I'm finished decoding something, they're four lines ahead of me. Yeah. Yep. And to me, this is not that the Shema isn't important, but when, when you have a yard site or you're in mourning, this has to be absolutely the most important thing that you do because you're paying respect and honoring someone who has passed away. Yep. And so if you don't get your chance to do it, it's really like you're missing out and it's not getting done. Yeah. So that you get to say it. Carol? Yes. Uh, could, when is a good time for me to ask you? Tell me what, tell me when. To me in the service, there are so many times, as you say, that we say the Kaddish, whether it's the half Kaddish, which I never knew what Hatsi Kaddish, Kaddish meant. But okay, but when um, okay, I kind of lost my thought. But the po the point is, it's said so often during the service, whether it's the minion, whether it's the full Shabbat service. Mm -hmm. There has to be some protocol for when does a person who's not mourning stand? When does a person who is mourning stand? So pick your time on when you answer that. It's just to me, because again, maybe it's, I just missed that lesson. Okay. Um, so. Don't, excuse, don't they usually announce, you know, the people who are, in, who are in mourning? And at that point is when you stand and do the full, the mourner's cottage. Yes. That's what Everybody. they do at, at my synagogue. That okay. is. That's true. But, but in my synagogue, the tradition has always been for both Hatsi Kaddish and Kaddish Shalane, we stand. It's not required. But when I started going to shul, that's what was done. And that's what makes me feel comfortable. Okay. And that is the answer to the question. The answer to the question is, um, what's the tradition in your shul? In some shuls, 
people stand for every time the Kaddish is recited. In, uh, and in some shows, even if the person is not in mourning or observing a yard site, they will, every, everybody will stand for the mourner's Kaddish. That's the tradition in some shuls. In other shuls, it's a different tradition. So, so for example, in my shul, the tradition is to stand for the Chatzik Kaddish when the rabbi says, please stand. And not to, you don't need to stand if the rabbi doesn't, hasn't said, please stand. Um, he usually says, please stand if you are able. So he's not even requiring the standing. Um, and other times it's just recited and some people will stand and some people won't. And that's fine. So in my show, for example, as I said, there are a lot of uh, times when the rabbi does not say, please stand if you are able. And there are people who will stand because that was the tradition that they grew up with and they want to keep that tradition, which is okay. So unfortunately, Nancy, I can't really answer your question other than to say it's whatever the uh, custom is of the synagogue that either you grew up with or belong to or whatever. Right. I mean, my synagogue just recently merged ah. with another synagogue, conservative. They're, they're very much like us in demographically and so on. In my shul, before the merge, we stood. Yep. The, the other synagogue did not. So the rabbi will say, if, if you wish to stand, please do so. If not, it's okay as well. And I know for me, that's what makes me feel comfortable. So that's what I do. Yeah. And I think that works. And I think your rabbi's smart saying the way he says it, you know. I mean, he is. He's, you know, bringing two congregations together. Which is difficult, I'm sure. Oh, and his co-president? Yeah. <laughs> oh, boo. Wouldn't want your job. <laughs> I'm, I'm done June 30th. All right. That will be my three years. I'm finished. <laughs> um, and speaking about the pace of the prayers. So um, when I began to go to Morning Minion after my father passed away, may his memory always be for a blessing. In any event, when I started to go to Morning Minion, the cantor at the time pointed out to me that the um, prayer, the service might go at a pace that was quicker than I might be used to or that I was comfortable with. And her point was not to worry, not to stress. If I wanted to go slower uh, on a particular prayer or a particular page, I should go at my pace. And then let's say on day one, maybe I only read the first line before they went to the next page. So I could read the first line, then go to the next page. And the second day, maybe I could, or the second week, maybe I could read the first line and the second line. And then after time, I would get so used to hearing it or reviewing it that I'd be able to keep up. And that's really what it is. Oh. Yeah. That you don't necessarily need to keep up from day one, but if you do it every day or every week, pretty soon you will keep up and you will, it will become very, very um, second nature. Right, because you hear, a lot of times you hear it in your head. Yeah. And, and I take that and now I'm looking at the page and I'm saying, oh yeah, it's, it's all like, like whoever said, you know, coming together. Yeah. You know, the auditory and the visual. So any other questions? Okay, let's go to page 54. And so I, we may have started looking at this last week, uh, last time, two weeks ago, but let's um, review. So we had already um, learned, oh, I've got to take the blur off. Hold on one sec. Uh, background and filters. No, okay, here we go. 
so we've already learned whoops let me do it this way whoops you know <laughs> i'm well this i'm looking at it one way and the screen is different all right so we've already learned this letter which is the tsadi it's the s sound in the beginning or the middle of the word and when it comes at the end of the word it will look like this okay and that's what the focus is on this page uh, number um, 54. All right, so who read the last line? I forget. I the last... Ellen did. I did. Ellen did. Okay, Can I good. make one comment? I love this yes. letter because I can recognize it. It never gets <laughs> confused with another letter. <laughs> <laughs> um, good. I'm glad to hear that. That's excellent. So, um, Nancy, then, line one, please. Okay, so. Um, I just want to make sure that it's, that's the sound, correct? That's the sound. That's correct. Okay. So, <laughs> eights, hum eights, erets. Yes. Okay. So these are words that are pretty common. Eights is a tree. So if you were to, you know, when you say there's certain blessings over different foods, um, if the food had grown on the tree, it would be uh, bare pre ha eights. So uh -huh. that's eights, right? We all know what chametz is, right? Yep. That's the stuff you don't eat on Pesach. <laughs> and Eretz means land. Eretz Yisrael, land of Israel. Okay? Um, Gail K, line two, please. Eight. Chaim, eight Chaim, he, Bore, Peri, ha, ha, eight. Yes, very nice. Thank you. Um, Gail B, line three, please. Eretz, Eretz, Avo, Avotenu. Yep. Arisano, Right. Okay. Um, Arena, line four, please. Artsa. Artsa. Alino. Al I'm sorry, Alino. Alino. Yeah, very nice. Okay. So the pioneers who were going to the state oh, of Israel in, in the late 40s or whenever, it was a song, Artsa Alino. Really? Uh, that, because it means we're. Uh, we are going up to the land. Artsa. Artsa Alinu. Oh, Artsa, it's a land. And uh, right. Going All right. So, our Eretz is land, and Artsa means to the land. Again, <sighs> suffix. It's a suffix. Mm -hmm. Hebrew we has prefixes and suffixes to confuse us all. Okay. So, Artsa Alinu, we are going up to the land. That's. Mm. You know, in other words, two words in Hebrew for uh, we are going up to the land. Seven words in English. Mm. Um, okay. So Ruth, line five, please. Rashid, Bahe, Baray, Baray, Bara, Bara, <clears throat> Bara, Elohim, Act. Eight. Yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> ha. Hachamaya. Hachamayim. Yep. Vaat. 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 Yeah. Ha. <clears throat> ha. Arat. Yes. Very nice. Um. Ellen, 
You need to unmute yourself, please, for line six. I read it perfectly already. No. <laughs> <laughs> Lechem min haaretz hamotzi lechem min haaretz. Yes, very nice. Um, uh, Nancy, line seven, please. Lechem hamet. Hametz umatza. Yes, very nice. There you go. So we have lechem is bread. Hametz is hametz. And matzah is matzah. So there you go. Three things that we would eat. Um, okay, lines eight, nine, and 10 are the blessing. So the blessings typically have a formula. So they all begin very similarly. I'll read it from eight and nine. Baruch, Ata, Adonai, Eloheinu, Melech, Haolam. Uh, blessed are you, God. Uh, 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 blessed are you, God, our Lord, uh, King of the of the world, King of the universe, if you will. And then line ten is the specifics of this particular blessing. Um. Let's see who just read. Um, Nancy. Okay, so uh, Gail B, line ten, please. No, it was my turn. Oh, you. Oh, you know what happened to you, Gail K? You, you I rotated on my uh, screen. Okay, Gail K, that's fine. I'll remember. Right. <laughs> Good. Um, yes, thank you. Uh, Gail B, line 11, please. Uh, Vakulu? Almost. The, Remember, you've got the little yud there, so you have to go va. Va, ya, kulu. Okay, uh, and it's better to go va, ya, hulu. Va, ya, hulu. Yep. Hasha, mayim. Mm hmm. Va, ha. Baha Aretz. Right, very nice, thank you. And Arena, line 12, please. Ki Sheshat Yamim Asa Hu, or Adonai. Yeah, Adonai, good. Et Hashamim Hashamayim. I'm sorry, Hasha. Oh, Hashamayim. Yep. It's too fast. Re'et. Haaretz. Okay. The last word is ha a Yeah, this word okay, is Uh-uh. You, you went haaretz. It's got to be ha a ha a okay. Much, much better. There you go. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Now, are there any questions? All right. So now we're going to page number uh, 55. And the title of the page is Phrases from the Prayer Book. So all of these phrases are um, from different uh, prayers in the prayer book for you to become familiar with. And the focus on this page are the letters shin and sin. Now those letters look the same. It's like, you know, three fingers being held up. And if the dot is on the right, we remember that she is always right. So it's the sh sound. And if the dot is on the left, we remember the Latin word or the Italian word or whatever for left is sinister. So that gives us the s sound. So we have the sh and the s. And that's the focus 
Um, so that's the emphasis on this page. Okay. Um, so I think we're up to Ruth. Yep. Ruth, line one, please. Come on. Yisrael. Yes, good. Thank you. Uh, line two, Ellen. Samchanu. Um, hey. That's right. Samchanu. Oh, Samchanu. Yeah. If the yeah, good. Um, Nancy, next line, please. Um, yeesh. Uh, -uh. where's the dot? Oh, right up. Yis mahu ha shamayim. Yes, like, very nice. Thank you. Uh, Gail K. Bas. Bas ru. Mm hmm. Me. Me yom. Le yom. Yeah. Shoe. Ah. Uh, toe. Yes. Very nice. Thank you. Uh, Gail B, line five, please. Yeah. Uh, Lotes? Almost. That last letter is a Z sound, like uh, Zoos. Oh, la, uh, Lowe's? Yeah, uh, Lowe's. Shada? Okay, almost. Because we oh, have- Shada, a... Shada? Yes. Shada? The coal? Asher? Bo? Yes, very nice. Thank you. Uh, line six, Serena, please. Shalom. Asanu. Ke Goye. Yes. Ha -a -ra -sot. Very nice. Thank you. Line seven, Ruth, please. Hello. <coughs> Samanu. Kami. Kamish. Fahun. Uh, almost. Bechot. Right. Kamish Pechot. Kamish Pechot. Mm-hmm. Hadama. Uh, <clears throat> Hadama. Okay. Remember, when we have the Aleph, we've got to, you, you got to stop. Ha. Ha-da-ma. ha Adama. Right, that's much better. Do you see the difference? Yep. Okay, good. Um, uh, Ellen, uh, line eight, please. Jello. Sam. Halkenu. Kahem. Yes, very nice. Uh, line nine, Nancy, please. <clears throat> Shay sheet, no, Shay uh, shet. Yeah. Yamim. Asa. I don't know. Yes, very nice. Thank you. Um, who was that? That was Nancy, right? Right. Oh, good. Thank you. Uh, Gail K, please. Mehol. 
Okay, now wait a minute. There's a dot in that backward C. Oh, me, me, Cole. Sorry. Yeah. That's okay. Mal. Mel. 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 La. Hu. To. Almost, except under the that, that backward C thing is a schwa. Okay. Me. La. He. To. Mm hmm. A uh, share. A uh, sa. Very nice. Uh, Gail B, please. Visha, Visha Ru. Mm hmm. Dinu. Mm -mm. That second word oh. is. Ve. Ne. Uh, Venu. Oh, Vigu. No. Ve. Ne. Oh, Vene. Oh, Vene. Oh, jeez. Okay, Vene. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. <laughs> Israel at Hashabat. Yes, very good. Thank you. Um, Arena, please at the bottom, lines 12 and 13, because they're so short. Okay. Shiru. Lahai. Okay, so we La have that. Adonai. Ladonai, yeah. Ladonai. So sometimes it's Adonai, sometimes it's La Adonai. Okay, so no, no, no. If there's the Lama, the La in front of it, that makes mm -hmm. it La Adonai. If the Lama wasn't there, it would just be Adonai. What's the different? Okay. Well, it's so two different mentioned... words. It's like, um, you know, yeah. I have the word begin or I have the word beginning. But Adonai is Adonai, no? Right, but the, in this particular case, there's the Lama in front. Okay. So, right, right. Nancy, do you have a question? What does it mean? Okay. Uh, Adonai is God. Ladonai is to God. Okay. Mm. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. so this, the uh, here, the... Um, Why it's two, it's two. the prefix. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay, so anyway, uh, this line starts, Shiru Ladonai. Shiru, let us sing. God. Ladonai to God. Shir. Harash. Almost. Hadash. Hadash. Still confusing. Hadash. Shir is a. Hold on one sec. Shir is a song. Hadash is new. Let us sing to God a new song. That's what line 12 means. Sure. Okay. Let's make it 13. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. Ve he ve he sta navu. But ne he sta avu. Okay. Ve havu havu. Right. Ve he sta havu. Ve he sta havu. Yes, very nice. Lehar. Mm -hmm. Kadosho. Yes, very nice. Thank you. Um, Ruth, please. 14 and 15. Shamor. Vesachur. Yep. Vigi. Vish boot. Yes, I just want to point out that at the beginning of the word, it's not vi but va. Vayish. Vayish boot. Boat. Boat. Yep. <coughs> Vayom. Hash. V. V E. Okay, hash V E. Hash V E. e. Yeah. Oh, not E E. Okay, because you've got to make sure when you have those silent letters that they get there. Follow I hear me? you. Okay, I hear good. you. 
<laughs> to be silent. <laughs> um, Ellen, 16 and 17, please. Shimho, shim, shimhu. Almost. What's the first letter? Simhu. Yep. Simhu. Zadikim. Um, Ba'adonai. Yes, very nice. Thank you. And the next line. Ka, um, ka eret, ka eret. Okay, the last letter there is the Zion, the Z. Ka, okay, I said Eretz. It's not right. No. Z. Z is different than Z. Like T Z, like in Zar, Eretz. No. no. It's oh, Z, Z like in Zoo. Ah, Zink. thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, so, no, I got this it. here, if you look at the screen, this is the T Z sound. So either in the beginning or middle or the end. This guy that we're looking at right now. Let me get my pen. Well, where's this one? This guy here with the little hat on, that guy's the z, like zoo. Thank you. Z, 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 z. Okay, there's a difference. Gotcha. Let's see if I get the next one right, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Balkan, Bal, Balkanu? No. Almost. Bal. Katanu. Nope. No. Bal. Bal. Va. va. Tanu. Nope. There's no ta, anu there. Oh, ba. Ta, wait a minute. Uh, ba. Tone. Va. Known. Known. Mm -mm. Okay. It's not an N at the end? Yes, but it's the it's the letter it's the letters before that. Hang on. Oh. Sorry. Okay. I just messed this up completely. I'll be sorry. Yes, you don't need to apologize. It is what it is. It just oh, hang on oh. a minute. I was looking for my pens. Just a sec. Okay. Let me write it out. So we can all see it clearly. Oh, it's a cut. Right. Bow cut. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. No. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Wait one second. I got to get my magnifying glass too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's a V. Okay. okay, so here's the word. So you see we have bow, V. Known. Yes. <laughs> now I do. Okay. Bal <laughs> known. Yeah. And last one. Where is ye yes? Yeah. Yes. You got it. Very nice. Um, Nancy, 18 and 19, please. So, okay, well, I'm trying. Sa, ba, ba, enu. Yes, lovely. Mi, to, vecha. Almost. Mi, no. That's me, me's right. Yeah. To, two. No. Two. Yeah. Me, two, vecha. Perfect. Ya, mean. Us, mole. Yeah. Yeah. Just sounds. Okay. Tif, ro, tif, ro, tsi. Yes. Ro, tsi. You got it. Excellent. Thank you. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. Carburetor. 
um, calendar. I mean, it just has no. <laughs> Hold on <laughs> one sec. Why is she waiting, guys? The next class we're taking, are we supposed to be advanced beginners? Because Monday I don't is the. Know. <laughs> Which reminds me, and I, I mentioned it to Carol. I got a, a notice from Julie Lowe. Julie Lowe. Um, yeah. Pre registration starts Monday. Yeah, so we're signing so, up for advanced beginner, right? That's what. Yeah. So what's your email? Okay. So Julia had sent out uh, emails to the uh, teachers asking us, you know, if we're willing to continue teaching, yes or no. Yes, I said. And uh, would we stay with our class? I said yes. And I said everyone was, <laughs> thank you. And I said everybody was um, okay to go to advanced beginners. So, um, We'll proceed. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Yay yes. Okay. Say, Gail you. Kaiser, are you happy? <laughs> no. <laughs> I got to tell you, this Nancy, is the best not... news I've heard in a long Do you? time. Me too. Okay. So um, date and time is the same or not? As my, it's my understanding the date and time is the same. Yes. I mean, the day and time. The date changes every week. But day, give me day and time. Yes. Okay. You be skippy. And uh, Arena, you had a question. Actually, before your wonderful announcement, I had a question. In line eighteen, yeah. Is it Shab Enu or Shabe Enu? Did we pronounce Shwa or not? Okay, Shab Enu. Shab. So it's a silent. Yes. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so now, uh, who was the last one to read? I think it was Nancy, right. Okay, so we're almost out of time, but we'll get three more people get to read. We're on page 56, more phrases from the prayer book. Um, Gail K, okay. what the section that says one, please. Okay. Oh, yeesh. Ray, oh, yeesh, Ray. Yeah. Lave, sheen. Uh uh, where's the dot? Seem, seem, ha. Yeah. Be, seem, ha. Oh, sa, a, la. Uvtsa ha la. Right. Okay. Um, Gail B, please. And thank you, Gail K. You're welcome. The air res al ba non. Yep. Yish gay. Yish gay. Almost. It's yis. Yis gay. Yep. Should I do the next line? Please. Because be ha be uh, uh, which page we are. okay we're on page 56 we're on the one two three the fourth line from the top oh, oh i'm sorry okay so can, can you say that again fourth line following. okay page 56 right okay okay just count lines forget the numbers one two three four when the fourth line Okay, Gail. Gail B, please. Be cats wrote. Okay, be hats wrote. Yeah. That's wrote. Hello, hey, new. Yaf. Reku. Almost. Yaf. Reku. Who? Who? Okay. Should I do the next one? Yes, please. Ode. You knew. You knew. Voon. 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 Bache. Where's the dot? Mm -mm. Where's the dot? Right or left? The seva. The seva. Very good. Yes. Um, Arena, please. The next two lines. Next to number three. Okay. B A L M A L B A L M A 
is confusing. D. Yeah. Vera. Mm -hmm. Here. Here. Oh. Say. Almost. It's here. He your. He your. He Ah. Here. Your. Say. Ah. Listen. Here. He. It's Ute. I'm sorry. Here, Ute. Perfect. Get over ambitious. Be high a hon. Uv yo me hon. Yes, very nice. Okay. We will start on this page next to line number four, it's next exhausting. to number four, next time. Sounds great. Oh, uh, that, so. news, that good news. That makes my weekend. <laughs> He's so happy. Yes. You know what? The All of us have already talked amongst ourselves and we've come to the conclusion that we work very well together. Yes. And especially with you, um, oh, we feel thank very you. supported. And um, I mean, to me, this really, what I've done this semester really makes sense. I really feel like I've got a handle on it. So oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. So. Tour. I wish you all a uh, Shabbat Shalom, a lovely Shabbat. weekend. You too. Thank um, you. Did we yes. want to ask Carol for something? Yes, please, because I have something that I want to show you. Okay. And I, I told everybody, so I need your address. I can't do it on here. It's not a paper. Okay, so uh, would you, you want my... Email it? Would you email it to us? Yes. Now, what address? You want my email address or my snail mail address? Your snail, snail mail. mail. Got it. Yeah, I can. Do can that. you just put it in the chat? Um, um, you know, it's it's recorded. Oh, that's yeah, right. Is, right. Let me Don't just. I can say I have all your emails because I had them from the beginning when I said welcome to a class or whatever. I'll say I'll I'll send it to you. Let me uh, let me make a note. Please. <laughs> send address. Okay. I shall do so. Thank you. That's good. You're welcome. Bye. Shabbat shalom. Okay. So uh, goodbye, Shabbat Shalom. And uh, don't forget to pay attention and sign up when you see whatever notification comes out.